I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play God of Blades. This is a mobile-to-PC port, and it is basically a running game with some Conan the Barbarian hacking and slashing. Uh, I'm not sure how interesting this Let's Play is going to be to watch, because the gameplay is very repetitious, but uh, the visuals are nice to look at, so if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, I'm going to play through the campaign. I'll cover the other modes a little bit later. And I have already beat the game. There's no way to clear your data, but uh, I'll just start from the beginning. Guardian of the Black Clefts. Invasion. As the cult of the Hidden Star descends upon the city of the Black Clefts, a long-dead king rises to defend his people. Awaken. Beyond the pall of death, across the expanse of eternity, we beg your aid. The black wind returns, worlds are harrowed into void. The great doom crawls toward us. Your foe is returned. The cutscenes start out a little slow, but they get awkwardly faster as time goes on. The nameless king rises from his deathly slumber. His ceaseless charge begins. He cannot stop. He must not stop. And we get into it. The king remembers that the art of swordplay is a matter of timing and finesse, not frantic swings. To succeed, he must time his strikes carefully. Okay, downswing, yes, yes. So we get to go through a tutorial. Upswing. Oops. Already mistiming, that's not a good sign. Spinning slash. Very powerful. And the parry, which I almost never use uh, to my demise. Okay, and the special ability. The vitality of the Nameless King appears at the top left of the screen. Okay. Now, throughout this game, one of the ga uh, mechanics, gimmicks I was going to say, let's not die, uh, is that you get different swords, and they have different abilities. This one is probably the most useful. You unlock them over time as you complete chapters, and when you complete other game modes, uh, you get this experience that goes up, and we have almost unlocked another sword, about three-fourths of the way to another sword. Thralls of Doom. The Acolytes, rage-blind madmen in service to the Void, descend upon the Black Clefts. They shall not find easy prey. And I've already unlocked several types of swords, but uh, I think early on... Well, you know what? This early stuff is easy, so I'll pick something else. Let's start with Starwind. I will be using the default one uh, plenty later on. I'm not sure if I can do this and talk at the same time. It's gonna take some concentration. Not for these parts. I mean, the very first levels are really easy, but later on, the enemies get a little bit more challenging, and their patterns kind of change it up. Get really awkward. Oh! I got hit in the head, damn it! I missed out on a perfect stage clear, because I was trying to hit a different button. 
Uh, I don't have all the swords unlocked, but hopefully I can do that through this playthrough. The Harrowing. So I didn't even use the special ability of that sword. I will this time. Uh, the Harrowing. From the blasted wastes comes the Marauders. The wild and savage men, bearers of mighty axes and barbaric manes. Because when I think barbarians, I want to talk about their hair. Let's pick Starwind again. I will use the special ability, which basically just makes my sword uber powerful for uh, a given amount of time. Damn it. And that time I screwed up my own timing because I stopped. Ah. These guys always throw off my timing because they stop. Just before they swing, they stop. And so you gotta give them that split second more time to get right up in their face to be able to hit them with my swing. But uh, yeah, I think the art style to this game is absolutely beautiful. And it is heavily inspired by the uh, pulp sword and sorcery kind of books from, oh, I want to say like the early 70s probably, around that era. And the special power with this sword is kind of a mixed blessing because as you can see, I like hitting the enemies up in the air so that they hit the other ones behind them. But when you activate your special ability, you vaporize them or knock them off into the background. Hooray, new sword! Okay, let's go ahead and check that out. So, to unlock new swords, we come to the sword, or the field of swords, field of blades, whatever, uh, and we can see all the different swords. Um, I'm not going to go through and do all this reading right now. I'll probably wait until the end and just go through them all. Um, let's do... I, mean, I don't really like the light blades. Medium blades, I find, are probably the easiest, just because of the timing. Oh, let's try a heavy one. Let's go Bulwark. Hopefully I can unlock all of these by the time this Let's Play is over. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do all the reading stuff later. Abominable beings. Crushers, giant man-freaks of terrible strength and cruelty, issue forth from the blasted wastes to join the savage cultists in their dark marches. Mere mortals stand little chance against their kind. It's a good thing I'm an undead king. Let's pick something else. Okay, let's pick the tower, just see how that goes, because I've never used it. What is its special ability? I probably should have read that. We'll find out together. Uh, it appears to be a shield, which is okay, I guess. I don't know. I will have to read it. There's probably a better... oops, I didn't mean to do that. And the heavy swords take longer to swing, so once again I've thrown off my timing. But they are quite powerful. So they're probably more useful against, like, these guys, or the later enemies that take multiple hits. No, you don't! Oh, it burns them! I see. The default weapon has the ability to throw fireballs, which also burn them and damages them over time. I find that to be a very useful sword throughout the game, including in the final levels. Continue on. Culling the Void. Void-crazed cultists have constructed arcane towers from the bones of beasts and men. In a horrid fervor, they rain cursed energies upon the embattled defenders of the Black Clefts. Aid the army of the Black Clefts. Noble King. You were disturbed, and are risen. You flit between the living and the dead. We, the noble dead, dwell in the memories of our people. The 
void is returned. Our people suffer. A terrible battle is joined at the edge of our lands. Defend us as you once did from the devouring dark. Now, uh, that guy there is one of the bosses, and I've already unlocked his sword. So, yeah, it's Hallow. I think I'll use his own sword against him, just because that amuses me. Unfortunately, the superpower it has isn't very good. It actually summons him, and then he runs forward. Damn it. Well, let's use it. Yeah, he runs off and uh, sticks into the guys. Which is kind of nice for... Whoops, damn it, I didn't block in time. I never block. making a very poor showing of this. After a while, though, you just sort of... Uh, well, especially in the, the uh, mini-games, like the time... well, it's not a time trial, I guess. It's a survival. You just keep going for as long as you can. And uh, the piecing of that is a little bit different than the main game. So I've been playing a lot of that and just sort of Losing my touch. Oh. I guess we don't face him till the last. That would make sense. Hour of the Reaver. Clad in bone and shade steel armor, a group of Reavers, expert swordsmen from the tribes of the Wastes, join the fray. Peel away their armor and sunder their curse-etched blades Let's try... Let's try Arkrim. So this blade is kind of a mixed blessing. Wow, these guys are kicking my ass. Uh, its power is a lightning storm, which can actually kill some of the lesser minions or do damage to the enemies coming up. Unfortunately, it breaks the pacing when it does that because it stops them, it sort of freezes them a little bit. Which, uh, can be aggravating. And those guys are hard if you don't get them timed properly. You gotta start that big swing at the right moment. See, like right there I just hit that guy with the other guy. And he would have run right into my blade. Uh, I mistimed it. There we go. I can use that big swing on those guys, too. That's actually probably better to compensate for my inability to time that correctly. Oops. See, just use those big swings on those guys. Sometimes my fingers decide, oh, I want to try a different attack, and it always screws it up. Actually, I think a down and up swing is the proper combo for those. Onslaught. Annihilation approaches as the horrific emissary of the wastes, an inhuman being from the heart of the void, begins to pull itself into this world. Guiding its approach is Bulga, a monstrous commander in the cult's war host. Drive them back. Let's see... Let's give this tower a try. No. Let's give uh, Void Cleaver a try this time, because I think we'll face someone here. Uh, but I'm not so sure if it's very effective against Void creatures. Uh, that's basically what it does. It's like a one-hit kill, 
and I didn't really want to use that. I wanted to save it because uh, it's going to take a while to recharge, but by the time we get to the end, it probably should be. I'm hoping. Effective if I could hit those guys twice. Uh, it looks like we're coming up close. I'll just end up cheesing the boss with this. Olga the Butcher, wielder of hallow. And boom! Take that! Yeah, that's what I thought. That couldn't last forever. There we go. Somehow I killed him with half health, but hey, whatever. By your hand, the foe is turned. And the wicked take flight. But they will hide in secret places and lick their wounds until their strength is grown great again. They will take succor and devastation and loss, howling until there is only a great silence. You must seek them in the depths. You must continue to awaken. Alright, gonna end this one here, I'll see you next time.